The Galactic Free Press update. Powerful energies continue pouring in. Bringing humanity home, energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. Wow, in the past three days, powerful energies of light have been permeating the planet and all on her. People are reporting the feeling of walking between the old and into the new, as if shifting and morphing more and more into the 5D frequencies of light. These experiences will continue as we move into balanced harmonics together, which will birth the new earth. Love will not and cannot be stopped, no matter what. Veronica and Montague King The light of truth shines brightly in your world, and it gets brighter each day. The great awakening is happening. It cannot be stopped. 2012 is your year to realize who you are and what you are capable of once the shackles are removed. You will be free to enjoy life on a planet of peace and harmony. It is no longer a dream. It is happening. Your courage and willingness to explore the truth has brought this about. There is no going back. When the darkness is completely lifted, you will see and experience life as never before. It will become a joyous experience. The darkness cannot and will not survive in the light. You, on the other hand, will become the beings of light that you are. Much is being put into place to bring this about. You will not have long to wait. Both sides of life are working together as one. It is a joint operation. We are almost there. The timing is right. We have waited a long time to bring this about. We needed certain people to be in, in place so there could be a smooth transition. End of quote. We did have a far side blow early this morning on the sun, and now we have a new sunspot emerging, harboring M class flares. Also, the SOHO is picking up ionization particles from an unknown source. This is a part of the incoming energy our craft are assisting in. Earth ally Daniel Earthrise had this report about our current storm, Nadine. Update on Nadine. The storm has reformed again. I sent love to it so it wouldn't hit the Azores as a Category 3 hurricane. It made a 273 turn south of the Azores and is now a tropical storm again. It is heading east towards the United States and is starting to pick up speed. A few track models show it from front pushing it north, northwest, past the Azores. Many models show it heading west. Earthquakes are also quiet at the moment, and our craft are stationed at each of the poles stabilizing energy. If a major event were to occur, it would be because unconsciousness energy needed to be released. This all depends upon humanity. Either way, the planet is moving forward into the fifth dimensional frequencies. Quoted from Debbie Erasmus. As we near the end of 2012, Humanity is being bombarded with energy from the cosmos and the central sun. This energy is pure God consciousness, pure unconditional love, and we are being bombarded with it so that we will wake up out of the illusion we are living. You might ask, why now? The answer to this question is because it's 2012, and this year marks the end of an era. Now, at the end, at the end approaches, we are being given the chance to ascend into a higher level of consciousness. Finally, after 26,000 years, we have the opportunity to lift ourselves out of the illusions we have created and lift our consciousness into the realm of the absolute, the fifth dimension, where love is all there is. 2012 marks the dawning of a new age of awareness, an age the Bible calls heaven on earth. To achieve this, the company of heaven is sending down enormous amounts of energy to lift the vibration of all who live on this planet. With the increased energy comes increased awareness, and thus what is known as an awakening. The closer we get to the end of 2012, the more energy will be released onto this planet until each and every soul has reached their limit. There is nothing I can say here that will prepare you fully for the dawning of the new age. But I can promise you that it will be more magnificent than you can ever imagine. The third dimension with its wars, poverty, pain, and suffering will be but a distant memory. End of quote. Salusa through Isabel Holmes. 
The forces of light are still successful. More and more light and energy are directed to the earth and anchored there through you. Your light has, be has again become stronger and the general vibrations on earth are rising steadily. Stand firm against all attempts by disinformations or attacks to disrupt the light. They will not be successful. Your video to disclosure, which is distributed at this time through your network, does excellent work and prepares the people of your planet to the upcoming revelations. Yes, we are here, and you know it. Soon it will be even more obvious to you. We stand in the wings, so to speak, and are only waiting for the signal that gives us the final approval of our plans for you and with you. End of quote. Regardless of any ego or disinformation about what is unfolding on this planet, there are certain events which must take place according to the divine plan, and they will effortlessly as decreed. Mother Earth Equal Heart is moving into the fifth dimensional frequencies of harmony and balance, and this cannot be stopped, halted, or prevented from happening. Mother Earth Equal Heart's prayers and visions of love must manifest according to universal law. This successfully trumps all energy not in accordance with this. Messages from Matthew through Susie Ward. Gaia, Earth soul, desires all of her life forms on her planetary body to flourish in abundance and live in peace, love, and harmony with nature. Setting the stage for Earth's entry into the Golden Age and the manifestation of Gaia's vision transcends all aspects of third density, whether based in a political, ideological, cultural, societal, economic, or religious separatism. If you want your children and grandchildren to inherit a world free of darkness, then you share Gaia's vision. If you want leaders at every level of governing, from community level to national and international, to cooperate for the betterment of all peoples, you share her vision. If you want to see your homeland restored to the paradise it once was, you share her vision. If you want love, honesty, kindness, generosity, and fairness to prevail throughout Earth's humankind, then you share her vision. If you want everyone to respect animal souls and live in harmony with all of nature, you share her vision. End of quote. These current incoming energies are causing increased anxiety for those clinging to the old energies, and the chaos has increased for many who have no idea what is happening. We have stated before many moments, all ego and consciousness cannot enter these higher energies, and these energies are grounding quickly since the equinox. This is putting increased pressure on the denser energies to release and transform. It is very important right now to remain in your center and stay focused on the truth. Utilize the Galactic Free Press to assist you in staying centered in the light as we work as a team of love beings here in continual present moment of now. The energies continue moving us quickly toward many events which will be announced at the Galactic Free Press. Decreed by heaven, increased vibrational frequencies of fifth dimensional energy is to be released for our events to manifest. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission in all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, humanity's Earth allies, the company of heaven, and the first contact ground team.